Welcome back to the University of Waterloo laboratory where we will be performing the intelligent friction compensation on our harmonic drive. We begin by having our Simulink diagram open. We see that we're going to apply a zero input into our system in an open loop fashion. Uh, this should cause the motor not to move. Initially, we will turn off our friction compensation and see what happens to the motor. Here we see our harmonic drive. It, the program is currently running. There's no input to our motor model and we cannot move with all our might our harmonic drive. There's just too much friction. Now we come back to our Simulink diagram. Let's turn on our friction compensation. We've turned it on and now let's see what we can do with the harmonic drive. Now we see it's relatively easy to turn the harmonic drive. Only a little bit of force is required to move it initially and the harmonic drive seems to spin on its own. If we push it hard enough we see that sometimes the harmonic drive also has a tendency of turning on its own. This is common because there, physically there should be no friction in the motor so therefore if we apply an external torque the motor should just continue spinning. Currently the friction compensation hasn't been balanced in both directions so it is a little bit harder to spin it in the counterclockwise direction as opposed to the clockwise direction. 